Hello. We're just moving into autumn here in the UK. And here at home grown veg, I have three raised beds. And all those raised beds are now empty. They've been quite productive this year. I've, I've harvested all the veg that I'm going to harvest. And those beds are now empty. And this is a great opportunity to do some soil maintenance, some soil management. Uh, there'll be nothing growing in those beds now until next spring. So we have all autumn and all winter to work on the beds, if that's what we need to do. Um, and one of the things I've been doing over the years is measuring the pH of the soil in these raised beds and adjusting it. And my soil tends to be more on the acidic side, more acidic than I would have liked it to have been. And so I've been adjusting the pH by adding lime. Uh, and to help me get a handle on how much lime to add and what the pH of the soil is, I've got myself a soil meter. Let me show you it. This is it. It's a 4 in 1 meter. Um, soil pH is why I bought it, but it will do light, it will do temperature, and it will do moisture. Now, I'm not recommending this meter. I'm telling you that this is the one I've got and this is the one I use. There are probably other meters out there that will do the same job. But this is the one I've got, this is the one I use. Um, but I'm not going to be using it this year and I'm not using it this year because over the previous years I've got the pH of the beds to roughly where I want it to be. So I'm not looking to adjust the pH of the beds. But I am going to be adding some lime. So why am I going to be doing that? Well let me just show you this meter first and then I'll tell you why I'm adding lime even though uh, I believe the pH of the beds is where I want it to be. Okay that's the pH meter. This is the probe. This is the bit that does the measuring and this is just a protective sheath. Take that off. Okay, hopefully when I switch this on, because I haven't used it since last year, this should light up. Ah yeah, it has. Let me just check what it says on there, we'll need to turn this around now. Yeah, I hope you're getting this, it, it's 7 pH. I'll, I'll, I'll adjust this up and down, and at some point it should become clear. Um, but this is the problem we have when we go outdoors with this type of meter. Um, if you've got a mobile phone and you use it outdoors, you know that sometimes the screen's very difficult to read, particularly in sunny conditions. Um, but as I say, I've used this before. Um, I've used it in previous years. And there is a video on the channel that shows me using this meter uh, and how I determine um, where to add lime, how much lime to add whether to add lime, uh, and, and then adding lime. Um, I'll clip that video, a link to that video, on the back end of this video. So if you want to see me using this uh, soil test meter, you need to have a look at that video, because I'm not going to use it again in this video. Okay, so why am I adding lime? If I believe that the pH in the beds um, is where it wants to be. Well, there are a number of effects agricultural lime has on the soil. It increases the pH of acidic soil. The lower the pH, the more acid the soil. In other words, soil acidity is reduced and alkalinity increased. Well, that's why I've been using this stuff. That's why I've been adding lime. But I think I'm where they're where. I want to be now in terms of pH. But also lime uh, provides a source of calcium and magnesium for plants. So here we should add some, should we not? If it's going to provide a source of calcium and magnesium for plants, then we should add a little. I'm not talking a lot, I'm talking a little. That's got to be beneficial, has it not? It permits and improves water penetration for acid soils. 
Well, I've got acid soils. And if you've watched some of my videos lately, you'll know we get lots of rain. So we need water penetration. We want it right down through that bed. We don't want it sitting in the bed. We want it to go down there, get to the roots. Uh, and it also improves the uptake of major plant nutrients. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Uh, it allows the plants to easier access those um, nutrients if they are present in the soil makes them more available we should add this stuff shouldn't we yeah we should we should give our soil a dusting of lime every year not a lot just a little we know we're moving in the right direction i've just given you a list of things that lime will do for you and i mean garden agricultural lime is a common application in agriculture and gardening. I mean the lines include dolomite lime and hydrate lime. Dolomite lime may be dolomite lime may be used as a soil input to provide similar effects as agricultural lime while supplying magnesium in addition to calcium. In horticultural farming it can also be used as an insect repellent without causing harm to pest or plants. So it sounds like insects don't like lime. So if you have a, an insect issue, yeah, lime might help you in that respect as well. But hey, that's enough of that. We'll go out and add this lime now. I'll show you the raised beds. We'll go out and add the lime. Uh, okay, let's go outside and add some lime. These are my three raised beds, as you can see, there's nothing growing in them. We've got our lime, we're ready to go. Uh, but before we do that, I'm just going to pop up the garden and have a quick cup of tea and share a packet of crisps with my mate Molly. Just give me a minute and I'll be back. Right, more. A word of warning. A word of warning if we're going to share those crisps. Okay. See these ones here? These blue ones. Never eat the blue ones. They're very salty. Bad for you. Never eat the blue ones. Okay, sweetheart. One for me. One for you. One for me, one for you. <laughs> that nice? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to share food, isn't it? Yes, it is. That nice, sweet out there. That nice. Keep your eye on them too, Molly. I think they've got their eye on our crisps. I'm not getting any. These crisps are for me and you. Yeah, get lost. You're not getting any. These are for me and Molly. Mm. It's a lovely day, Molly, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is a lovely day. Oh, come on, what's that? Oh, there's another bit on your ear. Yeah. It's a lovely day here at homegrown veg.
Can you hear all the barking in the background? Can you hear it if I be quiet? Maybe not. There's lots of uh, there's lots of barking in the background. And just over the way, there's a field where they do lure racing. That's something generally tied on the end of a big long piece of string and it used to be wound in using a bicycle wheel but I think they might have gone a bit more high tech now and I think they're on a car battery in some sort of pulley arrangement um, but a couple of my grandsons took uh, Fern and Tess and give them a run um, a few days ago I've got some footage, I'll clip it on the end of this, let you have a look at them. Hey, these dogs are fast, let me tell you. Or let, let me also tell you, there was no rabbits or hares killed in the making of that short clip of video. Nothing got killed. There you go, Malt. Hey, we're nearly finished. We're nearly finished. Last one for you, last couple for me. That's it, look, Mole, it's empty. None left. Good girl, good lass. You had a good mole. It's them daft dogs barking. Uh, can you hear them? Okay, I'm back. I enjoyed that. I think Molly enjoyed sharing those crisps with me. Uh, those big Covids, they were getting none. Definitely not, there wasn't enough to go around. Okay. But there's enough lime to go around, these three raised beds here. And I'll just reiterate, it's a light dusting. So the amount of lime I'm adding to these raised beds, I'm not expecting it to adjust the pH of the bed significantly. It may alter it slightly, but not significantly, because I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to get the goodness of lime into these three raised beds uh, before we plant anything in them in about five or six months time, I would think. Uh, unless we get some spring cabbages, unless we get something in over winter. Uh, but I'm not expecting to at this point in time. Uh, so let's, uh, let's add this lime.
How easy was that? A bit like dust in the cake, wasn't it? Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, just before I sign off, uh, a last reminder uh, that you're going to see some dogs running really fast at the end of this video. And I'm also going to clip onto it a link that will take you to a video that I shot some time ago uh, when I actually adjusted the pH level of the soil in these raised beds and used my soil test meter to enable me to do that. So this is homegrown veg, signing out. <laughs>